formerly El Hijo del Fantasma. Now he is Santos Escobar. The leader of Legado del Fantasma, Escobar is a highly dangerous human being. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Legado del Fantasma from Mexico City, Mexico. Weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. He only began his WWE career in a tournament to become Cruiserweight Champion. After he won it, he unmasked and formed Legado del Fantasma. Which was surprising because luchadors protect their mask with their life. Discarding it is disrespectful to lucha tradition. Listen, Escobar is the emperor of lucha libre. He's redefining lucha tradition. He decides what's disrespectful. Uh, I think Happy Corbin is the luckiest man in WWE. Why? I would agree with that assessment. Let's talk about this, Cole. From riches to rags, back to riches. How can you not be inspired by Happy Corbin? He doesn't have to rub it in our face. And his opponent from Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds, Happy Corbin! This story just pulls my heartstrings. It is great when good things happen to good people. Good people? You think Happy Corbin's a good person? The amount of people he treats like absolute garbage? Hey, Corey, did you get the invite? I sure did. We Me are you. hitting the town. Go Cole and Corbin. Graves, hey, I, Happy Corbin. I never got an invite, guys. There's a reason for that. Actually, it probably a dozen. set for action. Hopefully he realizes this match is no laughing matter. <laughs> oh, come on, Cole. They say laughter's the best medicine, and Happy Corbin has never been healthier. Well, that could all change here with this matchup. Corbin is a vicious competitor, but he's had issues with keeping his eye on the ball as of late. And facing him is Santos Escobar, one of the more controversial superstars today. Oh, look out. Oh, splash now. Is it enough? There's two. This could be a tipping point in this match. All measured up. Ah, oh, drop kick to the spine. Corey, we know what Corbin possesses in terms of strength and in-ring ability, but does Corbin fight harder when he has nothing to lose or everything to lose? That's a tough question, Cole. Corbin has seen both extremes, and I bet he'll do anything he can to not fall from grace. But the flip side is that he might get so desperate that he will make mistakes. Escobar turns it around. And Escobar isn't looking helpless anymore. Escobar hoping to start a blitz of his own. Escobar is picking the competition apart. Corbin is fighting like a cornered animal and has made some mistakes. And now we're seeing his opposition capitalize on it. Fighting back with a counter. right now 
Sure we do. The more the merrier. These two are having a fantastic matchup. Oh, well, where is he? And he's able to reverse. Oh, anus knee to the face. And Corbin is being handled here. Blend of that Lucha Libre style and power, keeping Escobar on top. He's positioned up on that turnbuckle. I would not want to be him right now. Backdrop suplex. Here's a few clips from the last match for us. one's going to stick in my mind for weeks to come. I agree with you on that, Corey. This one was unforgettable.